Hello guys! Welcome back to our channel! So, hello, hello, hello! How are you today? I hope you are all doing good. So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So, welcome back again. And I'm here again to... to to make another video for you so for today's video guys I'm going to repot my begonias I have two Rex begonias here and they are already big so I need to repot them because uh, their pots are small now so I need to repot them because they are root bound now so if you haven't subscribed yet guys please don't forget to subscribe like and share and also put your comment any suggestions and don't forget to share thank you So welcome back again guys so on my previous video i uploaded a video about the coco choir bricks bricks or the coco choir coco pit that i ordered from amazon so this is the coco choir or the coco pit that i ordered from amazon after soaking it with hot water after uh, overnight so the cocoa bricks I soak it with hot water overnight so this is the outcome or the result after soaking soaking it so this is the cocoa choir so this is organic yeah so today I'm going to repot my rex begonia my colorful and beautiful rex begonia because they are root bound now so i will repot them now and this time i'm going to use the coco choir only so instead of using soil mix i will just use this coco choir as their soil so a little bit of information about begonia or rex begonia they love high humidity and also they love when they when the soil when their soil is always moist so so i will try to use the coco choir because uh, the coco choir it has a uh, ability or quality to to contain or to hold moisture so this time i will use it i wanna i will try if if uh, my begonia will become healthier and beautiful if i will use only the coco choir but the uh but the only issue about using coco choir only you need to fertilize them monthly or two times a month yeah because uh, 
compared to the soil mix, the soil mix it has more nutrients than the coco choir. So please uh, join me guys until uh, until the end of this video. So I will add a little bit of uh, perlite. Just a little bit. Just to make sure that uh, the water or, or it will not hold too much water that will cause root rot and stem, stem rot for the begonias so yeah i will just add a little bit on a little bit of perlite okay so i will just put the coco choir here on this in this spot And mix it here Yeah, just like that and just mix the perlite I think I need to put more more coco choir to add more yeah just like that So the Rex begonia, they are indoor plant. So you don't need to water them every day. But just make sure, but just we just want to make sure that the soil is always moist. So we put we mix the perlite to the coco choir. We, because we want to avo avoid the root rotting so just like that okay I think that's enough okay so this is my six inches pot and it's just a shallow pot because the Rex Piconia their roots will not grow longer but they would they grow what they grow wider it will just turn on this pot but not longer so i'm just using a shallow six inches pot so we will just put the mixture here mixture of uh coco choir and coco choir and perlite okay just like that and then this is the rex begonia look at her look at this begonia look at the color she's so pretty right can you see it guys yeah it's so pretty so we will just do like this okay Oop. look at the roots it's just like that they will not grow longer it's just like that so so we don't need to use uh, deep pots because if we will use deep deep pots there's a tendency to have root rot so just like this okay 
we just want to make sure that we put it in the center okay okay and let's just add more soil and then after potting this begonia you can you can water it right away because it's not like the succulents that if we will water it right away after repotting there's a tendency to die but not the not the begonia you can water it after repotting right after repotting okay just like that let's add more soil a little bit more so when you will when you order or if you have planned to order coco peat or something else from online you always read first the reviews about the products because for example the coco peat there there are some uh coco peat product that it has bad reviews so always make sure that you will read the reviews first before ordering so that there's no regrets after ordering so as i mentioned earlier or before i ordered this coca pit from amazon so just like this so it's my first time guys to use uh, pure or it's my first time to use coco peat and perlite with my and my uh, begonias so I just wanna try instead of using the soil mix the regular soil mix yeah so after three days or five days i will put a uh, fertilizer here so yeah this one is finished i already repotted it so i will just put here her here i will just put it here like that okay so one down okay next the other one yeah so this coco pit guys it's a organic it, this is organic coco pit i don't know why they call it organic maybe some of the coco pit they put they mix chemicals or i don't know but this one so if you will order make sure it's an organic coco peat okay so this is next look at that color pretty pretty so beautiful i love begonia yeah. because they don't need to have flowers to for them to be beautiful because their leaves it's it's enough because the leaves are very colorful so oops yeah careful careful because the stem the stem of the leaves are very crunchy so look at that guys the roots that's what i'm telling you guys they the roots of the begonias will not grow longer or deeper it's just like that so 
so I will <laughs> I will repeat it we will just use we will just use shallow pots okay like that okay add soil now yeah I will water it after after repotting water it right away so Actually, guys, the begonia, the begonia plants, it's hard to, or it's difficult to maintain, maintain them. They are very complicated. But I'm trying my best. So, I hope they will stay with me. They will stay, they will stay colorful and prettier. Beautiful. So, they are indoor plants. And when watering your begonia plants, don't, don't, try not to put water on their leaves because they don't like that yeah they don't like their leaves to get wet so try to avoid to put water on their leaves Okay, just put a little bit more of soil. And that's enough. Okay. Mmm, look at this guy. Guys, 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 she's so pretty. So that's okay so we will just put her here so from four inches shallow pot i transferred them to a six inches shallow pots ready they are ready move that put this in the center so you can see the beauty of the begonias so I'm done here I'm finished repotting my Rex begonias so and I will just water them so look at that okay so i will just get the water to okay so what put water them or water them now so the water that i'm using right now is uh rice wash water or the water 
that I use to wash the rice. So I'll just put water. So sometimes what I do is I I soak them. I do uh, what do you call that? Bottom watering. Yeah, I do water water. Oh, I mean bottom watering sometimes for them to get more water. But this time I'll just do like this. Okay. And then this one. Okay. Again, guys, when watering your begonias, try avoid to put water on the leaves or avoid the leaves to get wet. that will be enough and after this I will trans put them in the living room okay just like that okay so this is the result or the outcome after after repotting them so because we put them in a bigger pot they have uh, room to grow or space so that they will grow bigger and then the roots okay so we're finished here okay so thank you guys for watching i hope i hope you enjoyed this video i hope uh you got information and i hope you found this video interesting so thank you guys for watching thank you for your love and support and it's really well appreciated i really appreciate your love and support guys so for those who haven't subscribed yet please don't forget to subscribe like and share and then comment too guys you can you can put there any suggestions of video or contents that you want me to upload so, or if you have questions about begonias, I'll try to answer it. But I'm not professional or expert about begonias. But I'm willing to share my experience or things that I learned about taking care of begonias. So again, thank you guys for watching. So see you on our next video. And I hope... Uh, you uh, you will not stop supporting me i really appreciate it guys and friends thank you so much so thank you guys see you and stay safe be loving be kind and stay happy thank you bye bye